hi guys welcome back to another video of easy tutorials today in this video we are going to learn how to make a responsive sign up form or registration form design for your website using html and css so this is the sign up form design that we are going to create in this video you can see in the left side i have this image and in the right side we have the title and one link continue with google or we have the email id and password field and a register button if I change the screen size, you can see this web page looks perfect in different screen size. And this is how it will display on your phone screen. And this is how it looks on laptop screen size. We will make this website design responsive without using any media query CSS. We will use the CSS Flexbox. So let's start this video. Here in this folder, you can see I have added one index.html file, one style.css file, and one image that I will be using on this web page and one Google icon. Now I will open these code file with my code editor which is Visual Studio Code. You can use any code editor. So this is the HTML file where I have added the basic HTML structures. And this one is the CSS file. I have added this link tag in the HTML file to connect HTML and CSS file. So let's add a div in the body tag and we will add the class name container for this container we will add the CSS so write this class name in the CSS file and here we will add width and height we will add min height then we will add background and in background we will add the gradient color so here we are adding linear gradient 45 degree first color will be transparent there will be no color then we will add the second color code after that we will add display flex and uh, align item center justify content center so that contents we will add within this container that will be in the center of the web page and here let's add some padding after adding this we will open the html file with any web browser so you can see this gradient color on this web page next we will add another div here so let's add a div with the class name sign up box and within this sign up box we will create two columns so let's add the first div with the class name call1 duplicate it and write the class name call2 so in the first column we will add only one image so let's add the img tag write the file name of the image it is image.png like this and in the second column we will add some title so let's add a title in h2 after adding this let's refresh the website and you can see this image in the center and below this image we have the title so we have to align this image and title side by side so let's come back and copy this class name sign up box write it here in this css file and here also we will add display flex and align items center then we will add width it will be 100% and let's add the max width 800 pixel so that the width will be maximum 800 pixel and after that we have the column 1 and column 2 so just copy these class name write it here column 1 and column 2 and here we will add flex basis 50 percent so column 1 and column 2 will take 50 percent space in the first column we have added one image so let's add the call 1 and img tag and for this image we will add width it will be 100 percent and display will be block after adding this let's refresh the website again and you can see this image in the left side and in the right side you can see this text 
Now we will add some other contents in the right side. So let's come back and come to the HTML file. Just after this title, we will add some text. So here we will add a span tag. In this span, we will add the text. So you can see this text here and after this text there will be a link so just come back and here we will add a tag and the link text will be login. Now you can see this link here login. So after adding this let me come back and uh, copy this class name call to write it here in this CSS file. For this second column, we will add the background. It will be white color. Then we will add some padding. So let's add the padding of 40 pixel from top and bottom. And we will add 8% padding from left side and right side. And after that, we will add the color. And minimum width will be 250 pixel after adding this you can see the white color behind this title and text next we will add the css for this title small text and this link so let's come back and here we have the class name call to write this class name here and then we will add h2 because we have added the title in h2 tag so for this one we will just add the font weight it will be 600 and after that we will add the same class name and span because we have added the text in a span tag and for this span we will add font size so the font size will be very small 12 pixel and you can see within this span we have the a tag which is a link so here we will add the class name and span then write a for this a we have to write text decoration none so it will remove the underline after that we will change the color so here we will add this color code then we will add font weight so the font weight will be 500 after adding this you can see this text is very small and you can see the color for this link. So after this line, we will add a button that will be for continue with Google. There will be a Google icon also. So let me come back to the HTML file and just after this a span, we will add a, a tag. And for this a tag, we will add a class name also. So the class name is Google link. And within this A, we will add one image, write IMG tag. It is google.png, it is the image. And just after this image, there will be a text. Like this. So after adding this, you can see there is a Google logo and this text continue with Google. So now we have to design this button. Just come back and copy this class name Google link. Write it here in the CSS file and for this one we will add display. So display will be flex. Then align items will be center and justify content will be center. Then we will add some padding. So let's add the padding of 10 pixel and border radius it will be 4 pixel then we will add border border will be 1 pixel solid and this color code text decoration will be none then we will add color font size and some margin 20 pixel from top and bottom and 0 from left and right 
again copy this class name and then write img because we have added the google icon with img tag so for this one we will set the width it will be 20 pixel and there will be some space on the right side so margin right will be 10 pixel so after adding this again refresh the website you can see this button looks good after this button there will be one a small text so let me come back and here after this a tag here we will add h4 and write or like this you can see this or text here so we have to move this text in the center let's come back and uh, here we will add the class name call to and h4 that we have created right now and for this h4 we will add the text align text align will be center then we will change the font weight and there will be some space at the bottom so we are adding margin bottom it is 10 pixel so you can see this text in the center so after this text we will add a form so for that we will come back to the html file and after this h4 let's add some space and here we will add form tag and within this form there will be two input field and two text for the input field that will be in label so let's add a label tag and in this one we will add text so it is email address after that we will add one input box so write input tag type will be email then we will add the placeholder in the placeholder we will add the text that will be displayed inside the input field so here we will add text enter your email and here let's add a class name so the class name is input field like this next we will add one more text and one more input field so just duplicate it and here we will change the text it is set password we will change the input type so the type will be password and here we will change the placeholder enter password and the class name will be same like this now you can see this text and one input field again we have the text and one input field after that we have to add a a small checkbox and there will be some text and link so let's come back and uh, here we will add a div with the class name row and within this div we will add input box input type will be checkbox and write checked and just after this checkbox we will add a span tag and within this span we will add message I agree to the terms and conditions so we will add a link over the terms and condition text so here let's add the a tag and within this a we will add the text after adding this you can see this checkbox this text i agree to the terms and conditions and after this div we will add one button so we will add a button tag button type will be submit to submit this form and here we will add the button text register now you can see this button on the web page next we have to add the css for this form and all the input fields 
so let's come back and uh, here you can see we have the class name input field just copy this class name write it here in the css file and for this one again we have to add the same border and border radius that we have added earlier and we will add the padding also so let me just copy from here we will copy the padding border radius border just copy this three lines paste it here and after that we will add outline none then we will add display block width 100% after that we will add some margin let's add the margin of 5 pixel 0 and 10 pixel 5 pixel from top and 10 pixel from bottom after adding this you can see this input fields looks good next we will add the css for this label text so let's come back and here we will add form tag then label and for this one we will add the font weight it will be 500 and we will decrease the font size so the font size will be 12 pixel now this text is a small and it is looking good next we have to add the css for this area where i have added this checkbox and this text so let's come back and here we will add the class name that is here row let's copy this class name write it here and here we will add display flex align items center and in this row there is a input box for checkbox so here we will add input and for this input we will add margin from the right side so margin right will be 6 pixel after adding this this line is looking good next we will add the css for this button so let's come back and here we will add call to form button for this button we need the same css properties that we have added in the input field so just copy this one and paste it here and here we will change the margin so let me increase the margin from the top it is 18 pixel and after that we will add the background color so here let's add the background and this color code after that we will add color it will be button text color which is white and cursor pointer just after adding this refresh the website and you can see this button looks good so we have added all the contents and designed this web page and it is looking good now we will change the screen size and we will see how this web page looks on different screen size so right now you can see this web page is looking good but as i decrease the screen size you can see how it is looking it is not looking good in a smaller screen so we will fix this one so let's come back here we have added the class name called sign up box in this one we will add flex wrap it will be wrap after adding this again refresh the website if i reduce the screen size this form is going just below the main image but it is not using the entire space the right side is empty so it is not looking good so again we need to add some css so let's come back and here in this column 1 and column 2 we have added the flex basis 50 percent that's why it is only using the 50 percent space so here we will add flex grow one just after adding this one line of code again refresh the website and you can see on a smaller screen also it is using the entire space and it is looking perfect on smaller screen devices like mobile phone and it is also looking good on larger screen so this is how we have created this responsive sign of form design without using any media query i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel easy tutorials to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video